Top of the morning to everybody. This time, making a chili cheese cheeseburger omelet. I have leftover chili. I'm going to start heating that up. Burner on low, low, medium, and medium. I cut the bacon up into lardons. Griddle's not quite hot yet, but that's okay. Let that cook down a little bit. The lardons will separate on their own. This side of the griddle I'm using for the eggs where I set it on low. Regarding the eggs, I have three large eggs. I always put them into a container and then shake. Put a little water in the chili, loosen it up a little bit. Chili's starting to bubble, that's what I'm looking for. That way I know it's hot. And at this point, I can take the chili and move it to the cooler zone. The griddle's right around 400 degrees where the bacon's cooking. You can tell this thing is rip roaring hot, which is great. Because I'm about to put down the burger. Put my smasher down and the burger. Let the meat sit for about 10 seconds and then smash away. Hit it with a little smash that by the flat top king. Get some good seasoning on there. Bacon's looking done. Move that over. Wait for the edges to get a little bit crisp and start working it up. Really didn't stick to this at all. Nice. Before I put the eggs down, I'm turning off this side of the griddle. It's almost 400 degrees and that's on low. And that's too hot for eggs. Try to always clean as you go. It makes it so much easier later for cleanup. Yeah, that's looking good. Nice and crispy. Probably use this to make it easier. Get that all broken up. Nice. I'm turning off this side. Got some nice crust on there. Not sure if it's coming through in the camera. There's a lot of daylight coming in. Turning off these burners. A few minutes later, griddle is at 300 degrees. Starting by laying down some butter. And your butter should be nice and foamy like this. If it burns up, then it's too hot. I also have an omelet ring that I'm going to apply butter on. Let's go. A little salt. Pepper. A little bit of a dome action. And I think I will turn this burner on low for a second, just to keep the heat going. Everything's starting this kind of set. Do a little jiggle test, see if this will come off. There we go. Perfect time to add the beef. Some bacon. And some cheese. Move everything down a little bit so you can get a nice fold. Oh, and that's looking pretty darn good, I'll tell you what. But we're not done. Just want to hold that for a second. And let me see if I can turn this around to show you guys. Adding a bit more cheese to the top. At this point, removing it from the griddle. Plating it up. Be like, what? Where's the chili? Oh, it's coming. and garnishing with pickles. Because a cheeseburger should have pickles, right? That looks so good.